Hello readers, your friendly neighborhood tech journalist here. And if I have one piece of advice for you this holiday season, it's please don't buy a smartwatch for one of your relatives this year. Now look, I have reviewed them all. You know what, I still do use my Apple Watch most days, but my big problem with all of these is that they cost too much and they do too little. The other thing is, is that, you know, it really feels like these companies are sort of having you pay to beta test their products. I mean, the pace of innovation is happening that like, you know, the Apple Watch came in September and, you know, it looks like this big bulbous iPod compared to this cool new round one, which is the style now. The pace of innovation is moving so quickly that, you know, the stuff that came out last year is gonna be obsolete next year. I really don't think smartwatches are gonna go in the same path that smartphones are. I mean, smartphones have gotten better, they are our computers now, but I mean, with the small screens and just what they do, smartwatches are really limited devices that are good for about three or four things. And considering how much they cost, I just don't think they're worth it. Buy something else, buy some clothes, buy some, buy some booze. Gift certificates are always great. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rajin Budder.